How's it going guys? Welcome back to another tip from the pros. My name is Taylor Battaglia, assistant golf professional here at Marin Country Club. Last week you saw a fellow colleague of mine, Terrence O'Neill, show you how to hit a low punch shot underneath a tree. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you go back and check it out. This week, we're still gonna be dealing with some tree troubles, but rather than going low and underneath the tree, I'm gonna show you how to get the ball high up in the air to go up and over the tree. So first and foremost, we wanna make sure that we pick a club with enough loft. It's gonna be very difficult to hit a five iron or a six iron up and over a tree. So just make sure that you pick a club with enough loft, even if you're not gonna be able to reach the green, you still wanna be able to get it up and over the tree. In this case, I'm using a pitching wedge. I'm gonna break it down in three simple steps. Now the first step, normally when we hit a pitching wedge, we want the ball right in the middle of our stance, maybe even slightly favoring the back of our stance. But with this shot, we want to favor the ball in the front of our stance to make sure that we're utilizing the full loft of the golf club to be able to get the ball up and over the tree. Now step two is we want to make sure that we keep our weight centered. We don't want to get our weight too far towards our back foot, otherwise we're going to hit behind the ball. And we also don't want to get our weight moving too far towards our front foot, otherwise we're going to be decreasing the loft of the golf club and it's going to be difficult to get it up and over the tree. And the third step is we wanna make sure that we follow through with our hands high in the air. That's gonna help the ball get up and over the tree using the full loft of the golf club. You don't wanna stop swinging right after you hit the golf ball, otherwise that ball is not gonna go as high as it possibly could to be able to get up and over the tree. So if you follow those three simple steps, you should be able to hit the shot up and over the tree. Stay tuned next week for another tip from the pros.